Hello and welcome back to another product updates video. We rolled out a major update in the month of December that I'm really excited to talk about. And of course there are some other minor updates as well. So let's go through each one of them. So the first update is that we've made it easier to connect action blocks. Let's see how. So this is the bot builder screen and let's say I want to connect this short term button to this time frame provided message. So earlier you had to make sure that you precisely connect this connecting link to this tiny circle in order to connect the action blocks or the buttons with action blocks. But now I can just hover the link anywhere over the action block and when the block starts glowing I let go of the pointer and there you go. Similarly and there you go. Super easy isn't it? Now coming to the next update, you can now limit the number of future days that you want your Google Calendar to show for appointment bookings. Let's see how. So when you click on the Google Calendar action block, go to general settings and just tick off the limit future bookings option. So let's say I only want to accept appointments or meetings till next Tuesday. So I'm going to type in 4 and select business days as I want to exclude the weekend hit the save button and to show you the final output the visitor would only see available slots for the next four business days starting tomorrow that is up till Tuesday another Google Calendar related update is that for appointment booking now you can totally skip sending out a form that asks for the same detail that the visitor has mentioned earlier so this is what the form looks like so in the Google Calendar settings, you just have to check the skip form if data is present option. And when you save this, the bot will not send out a form asking for the same details again to the visitor. So let's see the chat here. I'm just going to click on schedule a demo. Select a slot. And as you can see, the meeting is booked without me having to fill the same details in the form again. Now coming to the major update that I was talking about at the beginning of this video, we have introduced Slack integration for live chat. We'll talk a lot about this in detail in our upcoming videos, so make sure you subscribe to Whatnot. But for now, all you need to know is that you can live chat through Slack. Let's see how. So this is our conversation flow and we've added the Slack for live chat action block here. In the settings, we've mentioned our Slack details and most importantly, we have set assignment rules. So whenever a visitor intends to talk to our sales rep, the conversation is assigned to Swarna. And in case she is unavailable for some reason, after waiting for 30 seconds, the conversation is then assigned to Hardik. And this happens in a round robin manner. And in the Slack workspace, this is how you receive messages with all the visitor details. And as you can see, you also receive a chat summary so that you can continue the conversation forward from right here through your Slack channel. And that's how easy it is. Another related update is Slack notification. So let's say this is Whatnot's website chatbot. So whenever anyone reaches at this point in the conversation flow, we've added the Slack notification action block to get notified on our Slack channel. So as you can see, we've already added our workspace and the channel name as well. And we also have a custom message here. So this is our Slack workspace. And this is how we get notified whenever a visitor reaches at that point in the conversation flow. Now, unlike the live chat feature, the conversations are not assigned to any person. But if we want, we can proactively jump into a chat by clicking the join conversation button. And like I mentioned earlier, you'll get to know a lot about this in detail in our upcoming videos. That was all for today. Subscribe to our channel to never miss out on Whatnot's monthly product updates. Until next time.